more relaxed how huh? faq maybe this one is on the top of the list it's not like frequently asked question but like daily asked question do i need to modify my dsg software it's now almost 20 years now that we do dsg software and this question always stays but you have to think there's some kind of psychology involved it's not what a person is saying but why is the person saying this if you go to a seller who only sells engine software he'll say and ah, the dsg is not needed because he cannot do it so he has a reason just to offer engine software but okay you can also say that from a dsg specialist they want to sell the dsg software software well unless if they can do it maybe if when it's for some kind of a model which they cannot do they will probably say as well i ah, know it's not needed so it's really important to understand the technical part but also me i can try to explain and convince this in every technical aspect i think we're going to do it a different way how i'm going to explain you and i try to keep it in low level technical explanation why is it needed to change the DSG software? And we're going to try to back it up with documents from the development department from Volkswagen Audi. That's a really convincing evidence. First of all, why does the DSG software need to be modified? Well, the clutch pressure is limited. It's limited up to a certain value. So you can play around whatever you want with the engine software. It will never increase the maximum clutch pressure more into detail the engine software puts out a calculated torque level which is pretty similar to the real torque level so you accelerate 400 newton meters of torque it sends out this signal to the ecu from the dsg the dsg receives this signal 400 newton meters and the dsg knows how to prepare the clutch prepare clutch a clutch is open closed no a DSG clutch is always slipping. That means when the input shaft from the clutch is doing 1000 RPM, the output shaft will do 990 ppm, a little bit lower, 1%. If the difference is zero, the Megatronic will lower the pressure of the clutch until it starts slipping again. When it slips too much, it will raise the pressure of the clutch again. It's super important to understand this. Because of this function, many cars are still driving even with stock software. So what happens? The torque output is not high enough. So the engine calculates 400 Newton meter, torque output 400 Newton meter. But in reality, in example, the engine has 500 Newton meters of torque. Okay, input signal into the DSG. DSG calculates 400 Newton meters of torque, eight bar oil pressure. But it's not sufficient because the engine delivers 500 newton meters of torque. What will happen? The clutch will start slipping. So what will it do? It will raise the clutch pressure. I hope everybody understands this, that this is the simple reason oh, that people say it's not needed to change the DSG software. It's still driving. Well, they can have two reasons to say it because they don't understand or because they don't offer the product. So they have a reason to claim this. And still, it will never raise the clutch pressure because even when the clutch starts slipping, it will raise the pressure to eight bars, nine bars, 10 bars to a certain value, and then it will stop. It will not raise it any more higher and your clutch will start, start slipping and one year later, your clutch is gone. So I hope everybody understands this simple explanation and it's non-discussable. This is really how it works. Like I explained in the other video, trick, output torque signal of the engine ECU, 400 newton meters. Let's modify that in the engine software so it's 500 newton meters. Okay, the DSG receives an input torque from 500 newton meters, which the technical guys here in VCDS, you can even see it, 500 newton meters. But that torque signal gets limited. Inside the DSG software is a variable which says the maximum allowed input torque. And so you can send 500, 600, 700, it doesn't care. 
When it's limited to 400, it's limited to 400. And in the clutch pressure calculations, it will never use a value higher than 400. So 400 is eight bar, it will stay like that. And when the real, clutch, uh, the real torque is higher, it will start slipping, it will recorrect, recorrect until a certain limit. And this is what we already experienced for 20 years that people say, yeah, my car is tuned one year ago. DSG software modified, no, no. Now the clutch is out, but the tuner says, no, no, when it was because of the engine software, then the clutch would break down immediately. No, I hope you guys now understand it will take a long time, especially with a wet clutch before it really starts uh, wearing out. That can be half a year or two years. So guys, I hope this is a good explanation and we're gonna try to do our best to back this up with official documentation from the factory. So after 20 years, <laughs> maybe we can close this book and close the discussion. Does the DSG software have to be modified in nine out of 10 cases? Yes.